Right, guys. Apologies, there's been no um, there's been no footage for a while. Um, as I see, Lewis got full time job, um, and I've been waiting for parts. So yesterday, my parts turned up. Um, I had my last piston ring turn up that obviously broke in the last video. So I've now got that here today. Um, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the rest of the engine put together. Um, I'll film it step by step again because I'm on my own. Um, and then what I'll do is I've got to get the sump taken to my welder to have a fitting welded on for the oil return from the turbo. As I've got a fitting, but I don't want a Jubilee clip it no more. I want it, I want it all nice and like smart basically so there's no chance of leaking a proper am fitting on it and i'm taking the breather tank there later my oil catch tank to be have another two fittings welded on for the breathers on the back so this is where it's at yeah so obviously just covered the engine with um loads of wd-40 while i haven't been on it um to keep it all good ready for when basically when i come back now um, as you can see, it's a mess in here. Um, there's not much space, but I'm gonna have to give it a quick tidy up. Um, and then yeah, get this installed. I fitted that new second ring now. Um, and it hasn't broke when putting it on the piston this time. So yeah, so that's a good sign. So hopefully we can get this all put together today with no more problems. And then, once it's put together, all I'm waiting for is the clutch. And then we can install it in the car. So, keep watching, guys. I said we're on the last, should be on the last road now. So, yeah, keep watching. All right, guys, as you can see, all the pistons are installed now, all the rods. Finally, after waiting for the ring to be delivered, but it's all here. Um... Obviously got that on there, so there's no damage in it. Um, it's only lightly on there, it's not even no pressure on there until it comes straight off. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to show you that the, these, apparently these ARP studs warp the bearings. Um, I'll check the clearances on them. Um, the clearances are within spec. And also, obviously I've oiled the bores, but look, it is moving so f nice and freely. In my opinion, from building engines, that, that is fine to me. That is beautifully nice and smooth i'm not putting no effort in that at all so yeah seems all good so what we'll do is now get the oil pump on get the oil seal on um and hopefully get the complete engine built today ah <sighs> i just cannot wait i want to be getting them 10 second runs in so yeah got to order some slicks yet so Anyone's got any information on wheels and tyres that are good for drag racing, good size, as I'm, I'm still learning on the, the drag spec of things. Um, yeah, get, drop me a comment, drop me a PM, whatever. Just give me some ideas, give me a hand. These, um, yeah, they've been tested on multiple occasions. Did look online. So it's got to be better than the standard. So was going to do the total oil gears. But after researching online about these new oil pumps for about two hours, apparently, according to what I found, they have been tested to 12,000 RPM and been fine on multiple runs on 12,000 RPM. And I won't be going nowhere near 12,000 RPM. So, yeah, they should should be good enough for the job I want done. So, yeah, but anyway, oil pump's all installed anyway. So, put a little bit of sealant around it, only a tiny bit, just so I don't get no leaks. Now I've got to do the crank seal this side. Um, yeah, I need to get some breakfast in between as I'm absolutely starving. So, yeah, we're getting there bit by bit. Bit by bit. Well, I hope we're not getting boring, guys. Um, I just said I'd film every bit of it so you know that I was doing it and it was getting done by me, myself, and I'll film every bit of it for you. So, hope it's not too boring, but now, just in seal, installed the cam seal um this side and obviously oil pump style i'll show you that a minute ago um yeah so now obviously you're gonna get the the tray on the under tray the oil pick up obviously i'll be putting the gasket on there a bit of sealant as well and yeah what we'll do is we're gonna get the whole bottom end together and then i've got to send i won't be putting the sump on um 
today, probably tomorrow. As we will see the welder, um, who's part of our team now. Um, I'll announce it later on the Facebook page. But yeah, he's part of our team now. And I've got to go see him, um, get the sump welded and the oil catch tank welded. So yeah, I'm just going to do little clips every time I do a step on the engine for you. So you can see it is being done. And then obviously if you want to do your own build in the future, you'll sort of get an idea of the route to go or so on, basically. So thank you guys. All right, next step done. Oil trays on. Oil pickups on. All solid on there. A um, bit of scene on there. So yeah, I think that is it for the under part of the engine. Um, until obviously I get the sump sorted. Um, let me just try and turn it around for you. Oh. Hang on a minute. Just bear with me. There we go. So, yeah, that's how she is at the moment. Oh, doesn't it look nice? A fresh engine. God, oh, lovely. Got to love the look of a fresh engine. So yeah, that's how we are at the moment. Alright, water pump installed. Um, and me not paying attention, just getting along. I forgot, I've got to put a core plug in there. <laughs> but yeah, I've got one, but um, I just haven't got the size to take it out at the moment. So I'm going to go and get the size to take it out. Um, put one in there, lock tight in, so that ain't coming out. Um, water pumps installed at the moment, so all brand new, very nice and fresh. Uh, put a bit of seal on it. Um, hang on a minute, my little girl called me. What do you want? Lock the gate. Lock the gate. All right, boss. Yeah. <laughs> so um, yeah, that's all brand new. Um, and that's where I'm at at the moment. I'm gonna have some breakfast. Late breakfast now. Um. And then get back on it, get the core plug installed, get the head on, and go from there. Yeah, so I've had my lunch now. Um, come back out, installed the ARP studs, nice and solid. Head gaskets on. Um, just tip for everyone else if you ever install them. Obviously, it probably seems pretty obvious, but they should have a, I think it says up. That's meant to say up, but... Don't look much like up, but yeah. So obviously you're meant to stay up. Uh, make sure that it's facing up, obviously. Double check that when you fit the gasket, um, all the holes line up for the water jackets. Um, Cause obviously people can put these on the wrong way. I've seen people do it before. Not done it myself personally, but yeah. I've seen people do it before. And that's how she is at the moment. Um, installed that core plug that I needed. Um, but tightened it so hard with a breaker bar. Break the bar down there. That, yeah, I kind of I broke two tools, not just that, I broke another one as well. So, yeah, cheap tools they were. So, that's what happens when you buy cheap tools. But I'm not fussed, I only needed it for that, and that is installed. So, now what I'm gonna do is tidy up a bit in here because it's an absolute look like a bomb to it because I ain't got much room to move. Um, and then I'm going to get the head out and hopefully get the head installed and torqued down. So just bear with me, please. Right, so guys, head's on. All torqued down. With the ARP studs. Um, torqued into three steps. 80 foot pounds. Um, yeah, so that's where I'm at at the moment. Uh, gonna crack on, get the cams on, um, and get the rest of her built. Get all the little bits, all the little fittings on for the turbo oil feed, um, sandwich plate for the, uh, for the sensors. And yeah, so getting there, slowly but surely. Seems we've run into a weird um, little bit of a problem. Um, don't know where to start, really. Um, it's only basics, don't worry. The, the build's still going ahead. But um, 
that's a brand new torque wrench. Um, from what I hear, these bolts, cam cap bolts, I'm pretty sure I've got to go to 20 foot pounds. And the 10 millimeter ones go to 10, is it 10 foot pounds as well, I believe. Um, that's what I've got to spec here. Um, and I started doing this one up here. Didn't feel right. Neither did this one here or this one. Um, this is the result. It started stretching. Um, I felt it stretching, so obviously I pulled off and stepped back a bit. But I'm just wondering why that's happening. The only thing obviously could be old bolts. Um, I'm not too sure, but as I said, the, the torque settings I've got for it are 20 foot pounds or 22 foot pounds. So, yeah, I'm a bit baffled to as why that's happened. Hmm. Unless my torque settings are wrong, but I, I highly doubt it. 20 foot pounds seems about right for that. Um, I don't know. I have no idea. So, I've got spare bolts, so I'm just going to do them up. Not hand tight, but a bit tight and hand tight, and see how it goes. Um, get another torque wrench, double check it all, um, and try and figure out what the hell's happened. But yeah, it's not major. Um, I've got all the timing lined up. Um, they may be, yeah, they're slightly out, but obviously, I'll get them to the top dead center. Um, the crank pulley is timed up all in line, so that's where I'm at at the moment, yeah. Bit of a weird one, but nothing major, just these little problems you're going to bump into. It's weird why it's happening, really weird. So, yeah, I'm just going to do it hand tight now and um, see what happens. All right, so Tweety Pie's turned up. Look, Tweety Pie. Um, yeah, got that cam cap sorted, all that situation sorted. Now, as you've seen, fitting the adjustable cam gears um got one on obviously got ain't, ain't got the other one on yet um just making sure it's all timed up and then yeah that's where we are rest of the motor's looking good probably call it a day after this might get a rocker cover on yet not too sure um but yeah it's coming together as you can see looking good and i'm buzzing we're getting closer so just need to upgrade the cams in the future left no injection a couple of other bits and she's going to be bad boy. She's going to be bad boy as it is, but it's going to be even more bad boy. So what we've got to do is we'll put on the sandwich plate. Um, the oil fitting for the turbo will go there. Um, obviously, these are the breathers. You know about them already. Nice little CPL touch there with a the CSS. And yeah, keep watching. Right, so she's timed up with the timing belt on as well. Cam gears on, top dead center. Um, engine mount on, Lou Boy's just giving all the rubbish plastics a little clean, but obviously we've got to have them on in case anything flicks in the timing belt. I don't want them on, but it's just one of the things you're gonna to have to have. So that's where we are. What we're gonna do is today, we're just gonna get the, what do you call it? Rock cover put on um, and sealed. And that will probably be it for today. And I'll have a tidy up because obviously it's absolutely filthy in here. Um, there's not much space to do absolutely anything. But as you've seen, this is all in one day. Um, so yeah, I've come quite far in one day. Um, it looks good. Oh, I might actually install the stump, uh, the, the sump, stump. the sump nut kit here. So I actually have a sump nut kit, so look, I've got all the studs in there. So I've brought the studs around, and then obviously I have a better seal on the sump, as these are common for leaking. So yeah, we're gonna keep going, keep going. Probably about another hour's work. I've been out here since about half 10 this morning, 11. It's now, what's the time now, about six? Um, five, five o'clock. So seven hours, got the old, whole engine put together so bear in mind when i got here he was actually asleep yeah bear in mind when the little boy got here <laughs> there wasn't even a head on the engine and he's just coming and don't in 10 minutes for me bless him yeah. he fucking wishes <laughs> <laughs> easy mate. so yeah so we're going to probably put one more hour on it um and that'll be done for today so i'll show you where we get within the hour
Right, so I'm gonna wrap up today's work on the engine. Um, yeah, she's built. She's ready for action. I'm just waiting on clutch now. Gonna install the plugs, check the gaps quickly on the plugs. Gonna install them. Um, get the engine all ready. Gonna clean it some other time. But yeah, it's been a long old day, but I know once the bits were here, I'll knock it out quick. And it don't take that long to build an engine. I double, triple, quadruple checked everything as well. So that's the fact of it. These are quite easy to build. But she's back together, I can tell you. And I cannot wait to run her in. And get the beast running again. Um, gonna message my supplier of the clutch um, on Monday or Tuesday because it's bank only Monday find out if he's heard any confirmation on it and then we should get a date on when it's going to be sort of finished so hopefully not too long um, he said end of next week latest so he should be there so yeah, anyway guys as I said thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the engine going together Maybe you can learn a few tips from it. If you need any information, just uh, drop me a message and I'll uh, I'll get back to you. Sorry about my kids in the background. As, uh, they're calling me, telling me dinner's ready. <laughs> so, yeah, um, I said like, subscribe, share. Um, and what I'll do is, anyone who wants stickers or whatever, Give me a message, drop me a message on YouTube, on the Facebook page or on the Instagram and we'll get them sent out to you. Thanks for watching.